Oh. We must prepare for battle. Hmm. Look, Link. I didn't notice that. Uh, there's a Gibdo hive, uh, just like the one that appeared near Karkara Bazaar. Hmm. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reports have shown up at the same time too. But it's not only the one hive, there are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant saint seal to know a massive gibbler attack's coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing gibbles, they're vulnerable. The gibbles won't wait outside our walls forever. <laughs> so, when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Yeah, there are monsters all around, and each region has its own problems. But this here feels like a very personal attack of Ganondorf towards the Gerudo. Uh. Again? Come. Come. To where I am. Uh. Gain, you heard this, didn't you? Come, it is calling it to us. Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought it's nothing. <laughs> Link, for now, we should focus on protecting the Gerudo town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. Uh, hang on, let me just... Uh, she did say it's in previous attacks. Ah, those are using elemental weapons. Uh, the monsters got through here, it's a straight shot to the shelter. No matter what happens, I won't let anything break through here. Oh, won't that break on the first hit? What do you think of this? Pretty great, am I right? It was all my idea too. Who else would think to attach a fire fruit to a spear? Oh, I can feel my fighting spirit yearning to be unleashed with this in hand. Description said... Oh, hang on, I don't think I checked the... Rulara. A strong warrior who guards Chief Riju. She is familiar with Link from his previous visits. One glance at her claymore deters most troublemakers. Her concern for Riju is one of the few things that sadness in the stern manner she shows her soldiers. Riju, the Gerudo leader, she once fought by Link's side as tried her trusted Saint Seal, Patricia, to save the Gerudo town desert. She became chief at a young age following her mother's death, so she works hard to prove herself. Focused on saving her home from a new threat, she dedicated to she's dedicated to mastering her newly discovered lightning powers. Nerfun, the former king of the Zor's domain, while assisting Haru during the calamity a hundred years prior, his daughter, the champion Mitha, fell in battle. With an open mind and heart, he overcame his grief and helped Link finally defeat the calamity. After his son Sidon proving himself worthy of putting a name to the foul sludge to rise in the domain, he at last passed his crown to him and became the exalted Dorphan. Okay, the warrant to check was that. I thought it would be after common monsters. Uh, fire and lightning. Okay, I need to test a bomb directly to them to see if it does anything. Oh. Any questions about preparing for the battle? What's the plan? Is the plan we both go and destroy them? Oh. oh. Talk to Captain Tech in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Huh? I'll manage the troops. 
Oh. Uh, Pado is uh, in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. Need anything? You should talk to her. Oh. Any questions? Tell me about the enemy. Mm. The guilds we've encountered in the desert do not fall easily when struck. The attacks only seem to dull a blade. But fire attacks, as well as Lady Regis' lining, uh, appear to be very effective against them. Oh. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and spear, you should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not as unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. Hmm. Central, the the sudden appearance of the Kiddos and their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And we saw Zelda near Kakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around the town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on, but for now we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need our help again. Speak of Boliara and the soldiers to help organize our defenses. Oh, we should... I alone can defeat them all, probably. They're slow. I haven't even been hit by one yet. Oh, hang on. Can... Let's talk to you first. Maybe I can give you some hints to oh. use them instead of getting them for myself. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? These materials? Mm. Oh yes, I gathered up some weapons and the material have materials to improve them. There's also some food, oh and some rupees. Some of the troops found these strange capsules while patrolling, so those are here too. And of course, if things get really dire, like say, if our bows all break or you run out of arrows in the middle of battle, I can help you there too. Is there anything else can help you? Let's talk barricades. Ooh. There are three gates. From the palace, the north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly north, but I think that's easier for us to understand. I've got an idea for barricades. I'll use our barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set up at? Well, I think north and east will be are closer, so I can manage them together and leave the west gate blocked, so I don't have to worry about getting back there. Oh. Um, okay, the barricade has been set up at the east west gate. That should slow down any enemy that attack that position. Slow down, not prevent permanently but only oh. one uh let's talk barricade Ooh. build a barricade west gate but i can move it somewhere else uh, no ah. understood let's leave it there okay ah. Soon is something a mirror oh, i didn't have a device on my pocket as only device the focus on aim reflects light uh, it can provide you powerful long distance illumination that can ward off some monsters. Oh, I didn't see that. Gerudo shield. The design of this metal shield has changed over time to match the Gerudo's sword and shield fighting style. It's favored by soldiers and travelers alike. Those are the rupees. Would this, this stay here? Or could that be missable? That's totally a Pikachu tail. Yeah, the shape and colors, it's, it's a Pikachu tail. Alright. Oh. Uh, you're going to find the Gildas with us? You know, the regular weapons aren't going to be enough, right? Mm. Normally, I may have to share materials with you, but we're running a little low at the moment. We only have three electric lizard horns left, for example. I'm sorry, but do you think you could prepare your own weapons? 
I could even prepare some for you, the others. Hmm. I attached electric Lizal's horn to my spear like another guard suggested, but... I don't know, this seems like such a simple solution. Is it really going to be the key to defeating the Gibdos? Well, we can't know for sure until we try. Nothing we've done so far has been the answer anyway. Hmm. The real fighting is gonna start soon, but I'm still sore from Babi's scolding and from all the extra tra training after that. She knows that regular spear attacks won't do anything against the Gibdos. We shouldn't be lax about our training, of course, but I want her to acknowledge that there's more to a successful battle. You know, things like gathering intel and learning the enemy's weaknesses. Huh? Uh, what do you want? I forgot the trouble you got me into before. Well, I could have not done that yet. But, okay, if you defeat more enemies than I do during this battle, I could see my way of forgiving you. Okay, so we're gonna get your forgiveness. And I have to admit, I really, really enjoyed firing the cannon you know, in the moment. I've been itching to do it again. Mm. I can't worry about training area right now. I'm better to focus on the better at hand. So stay calm, Sudre. Stay focused. Trust Lady Riju. Ah. It's fine if you're going to fight alongside us. Just try not to get in the way. The best thing to do is make sure our defenses are ready for what's coming. Hmm. I wanted to attach electricity, electricity emitting material to our weapons, kind of like Lady Rich's ability. But they are rare, valuable items that have to be taken from Electric Glyph Alphos. Uh. So instead, we'll try using materials that generate fire. Maybe those will work? Here's hoping. Oh, I didn't see it. Ah, in your shields. Uh, Captain Liana was talking about attaching electricity emitting material, but honestly, I think attaching something that, like a horn from Fire Breathless Alphas, is better. At least from a sword on a sword or a knife. When you give the raise its hand first, ready the shield and then attack. When you give the raise its hand first, ready. You do. You have to remember the order to do things to defend yourself. Okay, I think I've perfectly pictured how the fight will go. Ah. Hives of monsters have appeared outside town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with the, this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out to lightly cover out gates, or maybe a concentrated force to protect the, a weakened position. Oh. You need to decide who to say where. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Hmm. Okay, the Karunir. Oh. Where should we deploy them? The North Gate. Ah. Oh. That's not what I expected. I thought this would be in front of the shelter. Understood? They will defend the North Gate. Ah. Nation side, spear troops. Oh. Where should I deploy them? Let's leave them all at the west gate, and I'll try to deal with the other side by myself. We've read you. Oh. Understood. Well, uh, they will defend the west gate. Oh. Apparently the spear troops with their lightning weapons and barricade iron barrels. I see. The way they can electrify the fence effectively defend the area with serious electric shocks. Yeah, I didn't think they would be that uh, useful together. I was just thinking about leaving them protecting one side while I deal with the other. Oh. Uh, okay, so the third troops will probably be bad for the barricades because they'll burn them down. But it's a bunch of people. Go there. Oh. To the west gate. Ah. Understood. They will defend the west gate. Okay, no objections about them destroying. Alright. Oh, I even have some stuff around. Uh, 
Okay, so that's for me to actually. Cool. Oh, so much preparation. And I think this will go quite fast. If this had been the focus of the game some other time, I understand, but I, I don't expect this to take too long. Here we go. Hmm. Our preparation is complete. They are. Oh, and they closed. Link. I'm curious about the voice we heard earlier, but... Yeah. Station reports, large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we will need to deal with this. Do we just break the hives and they will stop coming? Alright. Mjara, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This stretch is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle, hives and all. Prepare ourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Everyone, protect our chief, protect our town. Monsters have appeared outside town. Shore up the defenses at the gate. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. Hang on, I want to talk to you all. Yeah. You want to recall the deployment? Soldiers. Oh, I can recall them now from here. I defend this part of my life while you strike the enemy hives. I have to protect the people of town from danger. I'll be in overall command here. Mark targets with your arrows and I will unleash my lightning on them. What's more, my control over my lightning continues to improve. With time to charge up, I can hit distant targets. Okay, Lady Rachel, safe. You'll deal with the Guild of Hives. No. My spear is waiting. Enemies are pouring out of the hive near the north gate too. Take them out. Yes! That hive is out of action. <laughs> Hang on, I'm busy. Flying enemies from the hive at the east gate. They're heading to Flying enemies. We have our coat is coming here, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you. Oh, how they get past? Enemies have been spotted in. Oh. Since our enemies are nearing the center of town, eliminate every enemy you see. We're the last line of defense. Oh, what? Moth Gibdo. Yeah. With the wings up. Ah. Uh. Man, they don't just look like insects. They are completely insects here. 
It's kind of like Mothola wings. These monsters appear along with the same shroud winged horrors that attack quickly while in flight. They have tough skin that allows them to withstand physical attacks. Fire and lightning are effective against them. Yeah, I don't like that they are called Gibdos. They are really cool, but they shouldn't be called Gibdos. I'm just trying to get that. Give the wing. It was green. A wing that catches the light. Uh, arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Cook with a creature to make an elixir. Wing that catches the light. They don't come through here. You guys are doing nothing. Alright, we're almost done already. Oh no, I wanna... Let's hit that. If that can break one game blue. Damn it, only flying ones. Ah, it did lose some health. Oh, I didn't notice Regis' life. Okay, let's do that. I'm kind of a bit curious what will happen if she died. Oh, I have the guards on the main map. Hmm, you killed the last ones. <laughs> that was an interesting mechanic. Should be used more times. Especially because we are always gathering forces of soldiers and fighting monsters. Why don't we organize those things with those troops to bring peace to whatever place? Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect the Gibda threat will come down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Hmm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the Saint. Or maybe... Maybe they are connected to the Saint Shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice in lightning. This reminds me of something. Hmm. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Okay, I think I know where. 